I am uh, Federico Bitti. I'm an Italian journalist. Uh, I'm here in Toronto to have this therapy with uh, Joaquin Farias because I have this condition called focal dystonia. Dystonia is a movement disorder which can affect different muscles. In my case, it all starts with the neck. I remember my first real symptoms. I was interviewing this guy, you know, we were just sitting like this. And I had to look at him towards that direction. And I just felt this enormous strength to look at the other side and I couldn't, I couldn't stop it. So, and they were filming the interview, so I had to use my hand just to pretend that I was still looking at him, but you know, with all my strength, with all my energy, I had to watch the other side. And when the, when the interview finished, I was like, oh my God, I need to see a doctor. I need to see, I was so scared. And I don't know, they've been like 10 terrible years. They've been really good doctors, you know, who believe in what they do, in the buttocks injections, but sometimes they just don't work for you. And that's what I loved about, you know, the Joaquin approach, because sometimes you just have to use the body as, as a tool to get to your brain. When I first met him, he was considering DBS, that is a neurosurgery. He was devastated psychologically. Okay, go to this side. I couldn't drive, I couldn't eat by myself, I couldn't drink by a glass because my head would just went on moving. Follow me. Okay, he can do this. That was, it seems that it's simple, but this was impossible some weeks ago. So I was just walking, <laughs> I was just walking with my headphones on. So there was Vogue playing, you know, Vogue, the, the, the hit from the 90s. And as I, as I followed the, the, the beat, the music, I, I realized that my, my walking was better. The day after I told Joaquin, Joaquin, you know, I, I made this movie, I wanted to show him. I wanted to show him, so I got home, I just filmed myself dancing, and I showed it to him. And he was like, oh my God, this is your treatment. <laughs> this is your treatment. I mean, you are another person while you dance. Every day has been a discovery. Every day I discovered something different. I discovered new movements. I discovered that I could be in charge of my body again. It has to be loud for me to work, okay? I've always known that dancing is good to me. But still, you know, no doctor would tell me, Federico, just dance. The reason why dancing works for Federico is because he loves it. So he's stimulating certain areas in the brain and also he needs to focus and he needs to plan ahead so this increased prefrontal activity. At the moment I think that we are starting to understand what is going on and we are starting to understand what works really for, for patients affected by Estonia. I really I am hoping for it huge revolution in the way the patients are treated. It's not about, you know, just treating the symptom. It's understanding what is going on and helping them to, to recover control over their lives again. What I learned with Joaquin is that you don't have to go so deep in your life. It's just your body that has learned things. He taught me that I can train my brain back. 